Good morning, everyone. My name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. In today's video, I am doing a twin flame reading for the Twin Flame Collective here on YouTube. So welcome to this reading. I'm setting the intention now for whoever you are, wherever you are listening in on this planet, that you will receive whatever message from this reading you may need to hear at this time, whether that's a message of clarity, guidance, confirmation, and of course, all of these messages are truly coming from within yourself, within your own heart and soul. So thank you for bringing your powerful, beautiful energy to this reading. I'm beginning by shuffling the Energy Oracle Cards deck as usual. If you would like me to channel specific individual messages for you and your situation, be sure to like the video and also click the subscribe button or make sure that you are already subscribed to this channel because by taking these two actions, by liking and subscribing, you are virtually indicating that you are present here in this collective energy and I'm able to better pick up on that energy and channel more specifically for you. By the way, from the moment I started speaking in this video, I had this strange feeling of throat tightness, which usually indicates something going on in the throat chakra, which is connected, of course, to our communication. So I'm saying this because it leads me to believe something could be shifting or blocked or opening with communication. I'm not really sure yet how that applies in this reading, so hopefully more messages on that will come out later. Some of you might even have been feeling throat tightness lately. Someone in this connection might have a desire to reach out. I'm also kind of getting that like lump in your throat sort of feeling when you feel really emotional about a situation or a person so emotional that you are reaching for the words to say but it's like you can't find them you just have this kind of lump in your throat feeling of very intense emotional overwhelm that almost can't be expressed into words that's kind of a feeling that i'm getting let me know if that connects with any of you so let's go ahead and get started here what do Twin Flames listening to this reading need to know at this time? So the first two cards to emerge here are the seventh chakra card, which of course is connected to the crown chakra, our own connection to the divine both within and externally, whatever divine forces we personally connect with. And then interestingly, the sun card. And by the way, these cards are numbered 41 and one. So you might be seeing a lot of the number 14 or ones and fours, 1144. Now, this is really interesting because as these cards flew out, in my mind, I instantaneously heard the message through the doorway of your divine connection or spiritual awakening. You are stepping into this new beginning. So it's like this connection to the divine is acting here as some kind of doorway to a new beginning, metaphorically speaking, within this connection. Can I get more information on that? How is this? Whoa, okay. I couldn't get the question out, but I was about to ask how this divine opening, this divine connection was somehow leading to or a doorway to a new beginning. And before I could speak the question, the deceit card reversed came out. An end to the illusion because somehow through this spiritual awakening, and when I say divine connection, Right at this moment, I'm really intending our 
an individual divine connection, spiritual awakening process, of course, nothing is truly individual because our spiritual awakening is very intimately connected with our twin flames awakening, energetically speaking, but I'm speaking from like a physical 3D perspective that someone's own spiritual awakening deepening the connection to the divine as they conceptualize those divine forces is bringing about this new beginning and with the deceit card reversed it's like i just heard the illusion is shattered i saw like in the wizard of oz the curtain being pulled back everything being revealed the truth being revealed here i just heard at first the truth will hurt you and then it will set you free and i felt like a wave of goosebumps i almost feel like this could be speaking to the fact that someone listening has recently learned something or discovered something this came out and was very very thematic in my last twin flame reading on friday we spoke about things that the divine feminine may have discovered or unearthed recently and by recently i mean probably around the time of Mercury retrograde, that kind of May-June time for most of us, but things that were discovered that led to feelings of heartbreak and pain. But I see here it's like an elaboration on that message saying that truth that hurt you needed to come out in order to set you free and you, not only you individually, but actually more so your person i'm almost hearing like both of you like this person i feel that i'm connecting with someone's twin flame whoever could have if there was a situation of deceit or some kind of a lie or confusion i feel that this person was actually entrapping themselves through their own like creation of this illusion this lie whatever it was it was actually keeping them stuck, keeping them trapped, keeping this connection from progressing and moving forward because this person was like trapped in some kind of, I just see this like merry-go-rounds going around and around. This person was stuck on that merry-go-rounds. They were somehow trapped in this cycle, could be like a karmic cycle. Can I get more information on this illusion that is being released here? What illusions are being released? I'm actually feeling guided to the Romance Angels deck, so let's go ahead and go there for a moment. Is there a card here for us on this situation of deceits? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. I actually felt two messages from this card. One is there could be someone's person who has actually been presenting an illusion about their level of attraction to the other. So this person might be acting distant, cold, or dismissive, but that is not the truth. It's like the truth is this person feels yeah okay this is the message this person i feel was trying to present for a while like they didn't care but then somehow this whole situation came to a head maybe they felt the other slipping away or something like that and it's like regardless of what they said out loud they couldn't deny these feelings these emotions this attraction but attraction in the very most intense sense of the word like twin flame attraction soul deep core deep, energy deep, attraction. They can no longer deny these feelings. And I actually just heard, and this won't be for everyone. Remember, by the way, I should have said this at the beginning, but I do channel many different hyper-specific messages for different specific individuals. So always be sure to use your own intuition in determining which messages are for you and which are meant for others. But anyway, the message I was getting here for some specific person is like, your person could have denied feeling the attractive pull or feeling the connection or maybe they said that they felt it and then they kind of backed down or they distanced themselves or acted again dismissive could be cold something like that that gave you the indication of the feeling like is this person my twin flame do they really feel these things about me and this person could have displaced their strong energy again soul deep core deep energy level attraction 
within this twin flame connection, they could have displaced this somehow by acting attracted to some other person. This could be a third party. And again, this won't be everyone, but just someone it's like, I'm strongly feeling someone needs to know there was a situation where your person was confusing you because you felt this soul deep energetic pull and you saw indications that they were feeling it in the physical, but then all of a sudden something happened. They hadn't fulfilled some kind of karmic cycle or they hadn't fully awakened or something like that. And they displaced those feelings of attraction they had for you on this other person they projected them into this other third party connection or whatever the case was and i do feel this situation did somehow reach a tower moment or come to a head potentially again around mercury retrograde or some point in the spring summer 2021 and again, that message won't be for everyone. So hopefully for whoever that's for, that message did reach you. And I want to know for who that is for, what your person really wants to say. So this is speaking now on a higher self level. If that message was connecting with you, the cards that came out from the lover's oracle were trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. And also, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. And from this card, I'm hearing it's like this person's person's higher self speaking to their counterparts 3d self who feels hurt who feels betrayed and this person's higher self is saying to the others 3d self i know this situation has been very confusing and actually i specifically heard them saying i became afraid it was so intense that i actually became afraid it's like oh wow guys this is kind of circling back to that lump in the throat feeling i was channeling at the very beginning of the reading when I said it's as though this person feels so much intensity of emotion that they're saying nothing at all. And that's how I feel about this person I'm channeling. It's like someone's twin flame felt this connection so profoundly, so intensely that ironically, this actually caused them to become dismissive, to distance themselves, to pull away, or to displace those feelings of attraction, project them into some meaningless third party connection or situation, all because of something beneath the surface, which I hope we can get into why the root cause of why this is happening. But this person's higher self, their soul self, beyond the physical, is actually speaking to you saying, I know this is causing you a lot of confusion, pain, doubt in the 3D, but peel back those layers. Try to release those intense, heavy, triggering emotions about this situation and see it for the truth of what it is. See this connection for what it really is because sometimes in my physical 3D form, I can't always see this connection clearly. I can't always see it for what it truly is. I am awakening, but it is a process. I'm also hearing like, please be patient with me. Again, this is all coming from this person's higher self, their self on a soul level to the other. Trust, 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 trust. That is what this person is reiterating on a soul level. Trust what you know to be true. And this is coming up over and over in my readings. It's like trusting what your heart and soul knows rather than what the mind perceives, the ego predicts or analyzes, releasing all of those ego-based analyses and points of triggering in the 3D in order to get down to the core, the truth that is at the core, the truth of this connection. There is so much happening for us collectively that is breaking down, peeling back those layers, breaking down those walls, sometimes triggering us in order to identify and release those triggers all for the purpose of once again returning to the core, to the truth that is beneath all of those layers. I know that's a bit of a long-winded message, but I really hope that connects with someone. If that message is for you, the best way you can begin to 
I should say, catalyze this process, speed up this process in a sense of really peeling back those layers of ego-based analyses, trigger points, illusion, and really get to the core, or I should say, return home to the core because that is our natural state, our natural vibration. The best way you can do this is through my favorite technique, which is combining meditation, visualization practice, and sound therapy tools. And specifically by sound therapy, I'm referring to meditation audio tracks that allow you to radically shift your frequency, not just by addressing the conscious mind, but actually by deeply reprogramming the subconscious mind. And specifically, subliminal meditations are a wonderful tool for really beginning to immerse yourself, your sound body, your energy body in pure tone frequencies that really activate your frequency to its highest states of being while simultaneously uprooting any negative blocks that actually become stored unconsciously in our unconscious mind, in our subconscious mind, and continue to negatively impact us, our lives, what we attract, and of course our twin flame connection in negative ways. So I've created two subliminals I would recommend specifically for this daily energy clearing process. You can even create a playlist from these two subliminals on my website if you would like to. I have one that I call my morning meditation playlist and I listen to these two subliminals on a loop while I'm getting ready in the morning. And these are my general seven chakra clearing and my twin flame seven chakra clearing. Now I recommend this practice, these two subliminals specifically for twin flames because the general seven chakra clearing is designed for anyone, including those who do not resonate with the twin flame label, but it really just clears out any general energy blocks stored within any of the seven chakras. And then of course the seven chakra twin flame subliminal is focused more specifically hyper-focused on clearing twin flame specific blockages that we store energetically to really allow us to more deeply connect with our twin flame, not only spiritually on a soul level, but to actually manifest physical contact as well within this connection. So both of these subliminals come from my website and soul passion project sound and soulful.com. And yes, we are creating a mobile app soon. So that will be available soon for you as well. But in the meantime, you can access this on my website and I have a library of over 100 subliminals that I've personally created for every area of life. So as you can see on the screen, I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts, for material manifestations, for the twin flame connection specifically, for love and relationships generally, for really anything you can imagine. And you can combine these different subliminals into your very own custom playlist that you can listen to over and over on a loop while you sleep or while you go about your day. So again, subliminals are such a powerful energy shifting and subconscious mind reprogramming tool. And you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website. So all of that information is linked in the pinned comment and description box under this video. I will also be leaving links there for any future subliminals I recommend throughout the course of this reading because I do like to not only channel messages for all of us collectively, but also provide real-time energy clearing, shifting, balancing tools we can use individually and collectively to raise our frequency, shift our vibration in a powerful way, and really uplift us to the level of pure, unconditional love, which is truly the vibration that pulls us together, that magnetizes us to our twin flame. So with all of that being said, I'm going to get back to channeling a few more general messages here. You guys know that I like to really channel just different general and of course some specific messages that come through for us collectively here on YouTube. And then I will be heading over to the extended version of this reading on Patreon. So the link to the extended will be in the pinned comment under this video. But 
Let's go ahead and see what else is going on in this connection. By the way, I hadn't been doing my love word scramble just kind of accidentally throughout this reading. I had just been so focused on all of these intuitive messages coming through. But for those of you who are new, my love word scramble is just specific words I channel. Sometimes these are names, sometimes they're places, or just random words. However, of course, nothing is random because there are no coincidences in the universe. So these words words connect to specific individuals who are listening to these readings in ways that they will find meaningful to them. So the words that came out here right now were the word writes, as in writing, mouse, and york. I also heard New York, if any of that connects with you. Okay, so back to the Energy Oracle Cards deck. What else do Twin Flames listening to this general reading on YouTube need to know at this time? You know what, let's just get some further clarification on those earlier messages. As you remember, we were speaking about, just to start from the beginning, divine connection, individually, spiritual awakening, opening a doorway to a new beginning, but in the process, bringing to the surface truths that will first be painful and then set you free. You being not just you individually, but almost especially your person and both of you jointly. I heard creating space for the new beginning. Then we were speaking on how someone could be not communicating because of how they felt so intensely emotional. It's almost like they said nothing at all. This could be, I'm hearing for some of you, an energy dynamic that is still playing out to this day. For others of you, this could be describing something that happened in the past. I heard the word needs. Someone could have been referred to as needy by someone or feel as though they're being needy. I do feel a divine feminine vibe from this word needs. I'm strongly feeling there could be a divine feminine who participated in self-betrayal when it came to her needs, meaning that she could have not either expressed or met or even personally connected with her own needs. This might still be something playing out and I do feel this could come from an inner child wound, self-abandonment over self-sacrifice that began in childhood as I just heard people pleaser as a way to keep the peace, to make other people around her happy, to meet other people's needs and in the process she denied her own needs so long out of necessity of this childhood environment that she actually in adulthood is somehow still disconnected from what she truly needs within the context of relationships, especially romantic relationships. As I was speaking about that, the Magician and the Mirror card came out, which is very synchronistic because this is one of the two cards in this deck that I connect very closely to Twin Flames. Now, when this card comes out, I specifically connect it with something coming into balance within this connection. So I am going to read a little bit from the guidebook to see if I can channel more from this. Knowing and using your true power. This card upright represents the culmination of your personal and spiritual power at this time. This card is telling you that you are the magician and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirits. The word reflection also stood out to me. And transmutation. This guidebook is also speaking about the process of alchemy, which of course is the ancient mystical art of transmuting, transforming raw materials that were seemingly worthless into precious metals, things of extreme value. And I just got a wave of goosebumps as I was speaking about that because I heard it's like your past experiences were like those raw materials that felt worthless, but not just worthless, almost like detrimental to you. Darkness, like difficult experiences that formed you, formative experiences that changed you in ways that maybe in the past you've even perceived to be negative. Like, the, again, I'm getting the feeling these could be inner child wounds for many of you, but if not inner child, these could be just formative early romantic relationships, situations that caused you to either feel worthless or to look at these situations, relationships, whatever it was, and think, 
I feel I got nothing of value from that situation. I feel like I only got pain or hurt or baggage. That's another word I heard or trauma or whatever it was. But in truth, you are being gently told here, you were given these challenging experiences because you on a soul level chose them. You chose this darkness for the purpose of learning how to transmute the darkness of this earth into light, beginning first with your own darkness. And I know this is very, very painful and challenging for you to reflect on these things, to face these things, to heal these things. I just see someone who just feels like they were hit with a ton of bricks and the ton of bricks is like sadness out of nowhere. And know that in those moments, nothing is going wrong with you. You are simply processing trauma. You are processing emotional pain out of your emotional body, out of your, not just your emotional body, your body on all layers of its existence, including even your physical body. If you've been feeling tired or had unexplainable aches and pains, sometimes this can even be a sign of just all of this darkness from your past, this tragic yet beautiful capable of transforming darkness that you are processing through your body again at all layers which is why you're feeling it at all layers sometimes physically sometimes emotionally sometimes spiritually as like an i heard existential crisis or midlife crisis for someone it's like you're feeling all of these things because this is your work this is part of your work and i feel sometimes someone looks at themselves or i should say through the lens of society's broken perspective of productivity how we are supposed to be how we are supposed to work to act to be productive and it's like this person is beating themselves up thinking like why can't i just blink why can't i just get over it why can't i just make myself like work i'm hearing someone like working a job that they just hate they can't like bring themselves to do it's like why can't i just bring myself to do this and you need to know that it's because you are doing a work that is so much more intense and powerful than people realize. And the reason that people around you don't realize it and sometimes you don't even realize it is because this work is invisible to the human eye and yet so powerful to the soul on a soul level. And you need to remember that if this message is for you get back to the truth of the work that you are doing even if it is invisible to others and block out those voices whether it's actual people in your life causing you to feel doubts or to be down on yourself or whether it's simply just the voice collectively of a broken society that in many ways is spiritually very much still asleep shut out these influences and hold fast to what you know to be the truth so that is just a very powerful message for someone that needs to hear it and if this is you i do feel again you are processing a lot right now if you're connecting specifically with the inner child wounds coming up here i do have a subliminal specifically for inner child healing designed to really reach into those experiences of pain trauma or darkness bring them to the surface and then integrate them back into the light body from the shadow self to the light body really transmute these dark experiences into light and allow you to feel a sense of lightness energetically physically emotionally that allows you to easily shift into the highest most powerful version of yourself that you came here to emulate to become so this inner child healing subliminal is linked in the pinned comment and description box under this video this is one that i also personally use whenever i feel some inner child wounds specifically being triggered to just do that shadow work that inner child healing work wow so a lot of messages coming through here the words composed and land and also tip came out in the love word scramble if that connects with you in any way. I'm hearing someone could be a waitress. I also with the word composed heard compost for some reason, like a trash compost. Someone, someone might be into like recycling or composting trash or something like that. I also heard environmentalist for some reason. Someone might be very 
focused or part of your mission might have something to do with healing our physical earth environment or something like that, or that might be something you're passionate about. So what is coming into balance in this connection? Healer of the ages in the upright position. I just heard a divine masculine is healing because I do strongly feel just given that many of us here listening do tend to be divine feminines, although there are many awakened divine masculines that join us here as well. And I'm really grateful for all of that powerful divine masculine presence here, but most of us still are divine feminines. So I do feel many of those messages I just channeled will predominantly connect to divine feminines, all of those inner child wounds. Again, not for everyone, but I do feel many of you will be divine feminines that connect with that. And if that is the case, if you were the divine feminine connecting with those messages, I feel this healer of the ages card is now speaking to what your divine masculine is healing at this time. So what is this divine masculine healing right now? Interesting. The Goddess of the Moon card came out. I'm actually going to read a little bit from the guidebook about this card because I'm not yet sure how it connects. So let's see here. Wow. Okay. I just got a wave of chills. So this card, because I'm like, how does this connect? Because very often I associate this goddess of the moon card specifically with the divine feminine but we were speaking to the divine masculine but i never noticed the guidebook says intuition going within and i do feel there is a divine masculine or collectively the divine masculine is going deep right now within his own spirits I feel for many, there are many divine masculines that are doing a bit of withdrawing from the physical matrix of this 3D reality in order to really begin to, I just heard slow down. There could be a masculine who has been seemingly like, I just heard workaholic running. I heard it's like metaphorically running his whole life. That's what I keep hearing running. He's just been running. And I feel this masculine may have unconsciously been running from this awakening, running from this healing work. He would fill all of his time with work or people or busyness and always had to be moving. Again, this won't be everyone, but someone's masculine, like always had to be moving on the go, working, doing things. Because when he was alone with himself, I just heard it was almost unbearable because on some level he was being hit with all of the healing work, the reflection, the again, inner child wounding, just like for the feminine, many inner child wounds are being brought to the surface on both sides. And I feel right now he's finally taking the time to metaphorically stop running and slow down to allow himself to truly go within. And there's something about intuition here. I feel this masculine might specifically be receiving intuition about his own spirituality or about this connection specifically and as i was saying that the anxiety in the reverse card came out this is really interesting also this is the number 18 and i did see the number 1818 18 yesterday so i am going to look up that number as you guys know, sometimes numbers come up in the readings and I like to look them up in real time just to channel any real time messages that come through from those repeated numbers or angel numbers. Okay, so this number is connected to bringing success, achievement, and progress. It says, it will motivate you to do and achieve more without being afraid of the outcome. I heard two messages from this. One is progress on the things that matter i do strongly get the sense there could be a divine masculine having some kind of a like i heard a crisis like existential crisis could be a silent crisis within himself or some kind of an inner conflict of sorts feeling like he's been on the wrong track with something could be life work how he built his family 
connections, his love connections, whatever the case is. And I feel that through his spiritual awakening process, he's begun to feel as though many of these things that he worked so hard to achieve were really just the product of him trying to run, trying to to bypass the deeper level healing work he had to do upon himself spiritually on a soul level. And as a result, many of these things could have been built from ego, could now be false structures in his life of the ego self, things he built from a space of inauthenticity. And part of why he did this, and I hear specifically when it comes to this this twin flame love connection, and this is the second message. I said there were two messages coming from this anxiety reverse card. The second message actually d directly connects with the divine feminine. And it's like, I feel there's a masculine who has not been communicating or moving forward in this twin flame connection specifically out of anxiety out of fear in some way and i don't really have clarity yet on what that fear is i just heard like but where could this go what's coming out of this how is this going to come together something like that and again this won't connect with everyone or everyone's masculine if you are the feminine listening but i feel with this card reversed it's like this is part of what is being healed here. Yeah, okay, I'm now seeing the progression. Magician in the mirror, things coming into balance. Healer of the ages, the masculine is healing. Goddess of the moon, he's healing by going within, by reconnecting with his soul's intuition. And in the process, releasing his attachments and fear expectations for how this connection is going to unfold or move forward, not knowing the future. Are there any more messages from this Divine Masculine? Community in the upright position. I just heard, I don't want to be alone anymore. I'm not sure where this is coming from. Who doesn't want to be alone anymore? Door to spirit reversed. I just heard my loneliness was self-created because of how blocked off I was. And I'm now realizing that. It's almost like I'm getting this strange vibe. This masculine actually could physically be around other people, but just feel very displaced. Feel suddenly very different from those around them. And it's like this feeling of, I want to find my soul tribe. I don't want to experience this intense loneliness in the 3D anymore. This also might apply to some divine feminines listening as well, because again, these twin flame energies are perfectly mirrored, always very reflected. So what I'm speaking on here might apply to either side, but I do feel this energy of like, I'm around other people, but I feel alone because within myself, I am opening up. I am releasing these layers of attachment to physical realities, connections built from a false inauthentic self. I just feel like I no longer want to pretend to be that person that I'm not. So hopefully that connects with someone in a meaningful way of some kind. Yeah, the word shut and develop came out, which makes me think it's like, there's this energy of closing off, creating this isolation, this kind of hermit mode for the purpose of developing within, developing within oneself, opening up on a soul level, closing off to the world in order to reconnect with what truly matters and with one's own soul intentions once again. It's why so often during spiritual awakening we become very lonely and can feel really isolated. This is almost a soul intended space, a sacred space of loneliness, of isolation in the 3D, because really that loneliness is just our ego thrashing about saying, wait a second, I wanna hold on to all of these relationships that we built from this projection of self that wasn't even truly us, because I am afraid of being cast out by society, being judged, being misunderstood. And so much of spiritual awakening is learning to release 
that projection of a false self and all of the attachments that came with it. And I do feel there is a masculine, again, I, I, it could be a feminine, but I'm strongly feeling a masculine who is going through this in earnest. And this is part of what is actually bringing this entire twin flame connection into balance. If this is you and you are a divine masculine connecting with this, I do have a subliminal specifically for assisting you in fully stepping into your divine masculine power, fully embodying the most highly activated divine masculine energy hands. This is called the awakened divine masculine. If you are a feminine, I have a twin subliminal for this specifically for the feminine side of things called the awakened divine feminine. Now, whichever side you listen to or meditate with, whether you are the feminine or the masculine, what you are doing is shifting into your most highly activated state of being within this twin flame connection. It results in a bringing into balance of the yin and yang, the feminine and masculine. And what this does is really powerful because when you choose as the feminine, for example, to step into your power, as the masculine to step into your power, your twin unconsciously, instantaneously feels those energy shifts because you are always connected to your twin. You are soul connected energy connected meaning through all seven chakras through your whole energy body and so when you make a shift in a moment in your energy field and the way you respond the way you feel in your body the way you think by reprogramming the subconscious through these subliminals your twin will unconsciously respond to that because they will feel themselves beginning to shift into balance within themselves as well so the link to these two subliminals the awakened divine feminine and divine masculine respectively are linked in the pinned comment under this video Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and see if we can pull any final messages. If you are connecting with this reading and you want more specific details, I will be channeling more specific, hyper-specific messages in our Patreon community. So the link to the extended is in the pinned comment under this video at the top of the comment if you would like to explore more about that. The word pyramid came out, also national and model. Also, the word almost came out and I specifically saw someone picking up their phone, writing, deleting a text message or an email or a social media message or comment or something like that. And they're saying to me, I almost sent it. I almost, or it's like, I almost said it. It could even be in person, something someone almost said, but held themselves back from saying, once again, getting back to that kind of lump in the throat metaphor. Like I felt it so intensely and I wanted to say it and I almost did, but I didn't. That's just kind of one message I'm getting from this. So what are some final messages I can channel for Twin Flames listening to this reading? Angel of Strength. I just heard someone saying, specifically a male voice saying, be strong for me, my love, my beloved. I want to know more details on this, so I am going to read a little bit from the guidebook about this card. This amazing angel brings the news that this is a, this is a time of increasing power for you. It's the time to speak your truth and take action on your own behalf. It's weird, I heard someone saying go on without me, but I don't know how that would connect with anyone. This could be someone whose twin flame passed on. Many of you do ask if your twin flame does pass away, if I can still channel messages. And I did want to briefly answer that here. So essentially, usually, of course, we all do have different soul intentions, but in most cases that I see, when one twin flame passes on in this physical lifetime, they typically choose to remain present energetically, spiritually, rather than to reincarnate immediately into a new physical body. They usually choose to stay around their counterpart energetically, spiritually, to guide them, to assist them, to help them. The difference in these messages is very often 
throughout these readings, I'm channeling messages from a physical 3D human perspective, if that makes sense, and everything that comes along with being in this metaphoric classroom of life. So very often the reason that if your twin flame has passed on you may be like well i'm not really fully connecting with a lot of these messages because we talk about you know third parties confusion karmics triggers all of these things and the reason some of those messages won't connect with you isn't because you aren't a twin and it's not because your twin is no longer present because they are very strongly energetically present with you it's because that when they pass from this physical lifetime they shed or left behind all of those physical attachments expectations remnants of ego all of those things so you will connect more so with the higher self messages that i channel through and i do try to make a distinction between the 3d self and the higher self or to speak that to clarify that when I'm speaking from the soul higher self level and from the 3D level, but I did just want to share that with those of you because there are a few of you who do listen in, who tune in, who have a twin flame who has passed on. So I am just going to see if I can get any more messages, but as I was, the whole reason I brought that up was because when I heard someone saying, go on without me or be strong, I felt this could be someone's twin flame who had passed on saying and if not passed on this could be someone who is physically still here on earth but in a situation that feels very restrictive physically like it feels like there is something binding you keeping you apart i just see two people that feel like wow oh, i have like a wave of goosebumps right now this is like one of the most powerful images i've ever channeled through a reading it's so intense and like fills me with so much like love and yet grief so it's like i see these two people who are like trying to reach for each other like they have their arms extended and they're trying to reach toward e towards each, each other with like every ounce of strength that they have but they have all these like binds around them like ropes pulling them back and i even see in some cases they these could be other people at the other end of these ropes like pulling them back and whatever these things are whether it's other people other relationships other obligations whatever it is physical circumstances it's like i see these two souls just desperately trying to reach for each other but there are these other things or people or situations that are binding them that are holding them back pulling them away from each other at the same time as like an opposite reaction really intense visual there but the next card that came out is the second chakra card reverse which of course is the sacral chakra connecting with intimacy not just physically as we often think of intimacy but emotional intimacy soul level intimacy and for twin flames well in all relationships all of these things are connected the attraction we feel that allows us to become intimate emotionally physically spiritually with someone but for twin flames because our twin flame connection is the most responsive energetic connection meaning it's extremely real time instantaneous you know we have a block within ourselves or we are triggered in some way our twin flame instantaneously reflects that because they are so strongly energetically connected so strongly connected in with our energy when it comes to intimacy when one part of intimacy is off or feels disconnected it can cause a lot of chaos both within us and within our connection because we both feel that intimacy block that sacral chakra block in a really powerful way so i'm saying all of that because intuitively i do feel someone could be dealing with some situation of intimacy of some kind being blocked again whether it's someone i just heard i'm scared to be vulnerable or i can't be vulnerable so i project my vulnerability as something else i'm seeing like a mask on this vulnerability where it's like instead of being vulnerable for example this could manifest in many different ways but i'm seeing like instead of being vulnerable this person might be angry or be cold or be dismissive or distance themselves or go silent it's like this person is putting a false mask on their vulnerability because they're afraid to show it for what it truly is the words lovely thus and state came out your person someone's person may have literally used the word lovely recently or something like that someone also might be british i'm kind of getting that vibe too 
Yeah, okay, so with walking away in the reverse, whoever's dealing with this, again, fear of intimacy or really vulnerability being projected as something else, all of those negatives we spoke of, the reason this is happening with walking away reversed is because this person is actually afraid of you walking away. There is an abandonment inner child wound here that causes this person to intensely fear being left alone. I actually feel in some sense, this is actually mirrored in the twin flame couple I'm channeling right now. This energy of fear of abandonment is actually mirrored, but looks very different. I feel that in this situation, and this is just one example because this could just be for one specific person, but I feel in this situation of mutual fear of abandonment for this feminine, this actually manifests itself as self-abandonment. She abandons her own needs, wants, and desires over self-sacrifices. I just heard overachiever could have been like a straight A student. That was just for one specific person. But this divine feminine I'm channeling, she, because of her intense fear of abandonment, self-abandons in her connection, self-abandons in her most important connections because she is hoping that by abandoning herself, giving everything she has just to make this other person happy, that then they won't leave her. These things are like strings trying to keep this person from leaving. Now, on the other side, I feel a masculine. And again, this won't be everyone, just a few people listening but in this situation there's a masculine who again mirrors this abandonment wound this fear of abandonment but the way he mirrors it is he masks again his vulnerability as something else so whenever he feels vulnerable to being left to being abandoned unconsciously that just flips into a negative into distancing himself going cold not communicating feeling angry and i do feel he might be a bit unconscious of this but becoming conscious of this learning how to connect with why he is feeling these negatives because i do feel i just heard like it baffled me for a long time like i couldn't understand why i was getting so frustrated or feeling angry or feeling cold or distancing myself from the things that i truly wanted in the relationships that i truly wanted and the reasoning behind it was actually like this root cause of this abandonment wound that I do feel strongly for many masculines listening. This is an abandonment wound that comes from an inner child wound. I feel that in this person's family connections, maybe with their parents, if they showed vulnerability, they were shut down or they were distanced from, they were emotionally abandoned. So now they associate vulnerability with abandonment. Now, if this didn't come from family, if this wasn't an inner child wound, this also could simply be a wound generated collectively from a broken society, specifically a broken perspective on the definition of masculinity as being cold, being stoic, being untouchable, when true masculinity is capable of being emotional, being vulnerable, they feel strong and secure enough to be vulnerable. But I feel this masculine is dealing with this kind of like societal understanding that to be a man, so to speak, to be masculine, you have to front this, this stoicism, this coldness, this I'll step on anything that gets in my way and I won't ever express my feelings or I don't even really have negative feelings. That's like the broken view of masculinity that I feel this divine masculine is working through unconsciously on like an energetic level right now. So I feel like this is a good place to close out this portion of the reading here on YouTube. Now, typically I do get into the conversation between the divine feminine and divine masculine's 3D physical self and their higher self, because of course, what we are feeling and experiencing, not just feeling, but how we are interacting in the physical world can and usually is very different from what we are actually experiencing on an energetic level what we want to say what our soul wants to say so i do like to clarify and make a distinction between those two aspects of ourself 
expressing through this lifetime both the physical 3d perspective and the soul 5d perspective so in the extended part of this reading i will be channeling specific messages from the divine feminine and masculines both 3d physical self what's going on in the physical as well as what they want to say on a higher self level on a soul level and in addition to that i will be rolling letter initials that may connect with the first middle or last name of people who are involved or twin flames involved in today's reading so again all of that is in the extended which is linked in the pinned comment under this video if you are interested in joining our soul tribe on patreon so thank you so much for joining me here today in this reading i can't tell you or really find the words to express how much love and gratitude i feel for this beautiful community we are creating here together all of the subliminals recommended during this reading, which are the seven chakra clearing, the twin flame seven chakra clearing, the inner child healing, the awakened divine masculine and the awakened divine feminine. All of these are linked under this video in the pinned comment and description box. When you create a free trial account on my website, soundandsoulful.com, you can try out any of these subliminals. You can combine any subliminals I've created into your own custom playlist and so much more. So be sure to check out the information on that if it is connecting with you or resonating with you in any way. I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful start to your week, and I will talk to you again in Wednesday's reading.